Hey Carrie. Okay, I just want to make you a little video of the saw. So this is it. It's the uh, steel 661 Magnum. Let me turn it around here. So it's a really gorgeous saw. As you know, I just sold my 441 Magnum, which was also a great saw. Uh, this one I only used it once. It's still uh, breaking it in. Um, the saw is stock with a couple of modifications. Uh, you can see I have a Tamora lightweight bar. So this is um, a little bit lighter weight. It's about 20% uh, oh excuse me it's about uh, yeah 20% lighter than the standard bars so in other words this is a 24 inch bar uh, and it weighs about the same as a 20 inch bar so you can kind of think of it like that just knock uh, knock about 20% off the length and it, that's about what the bar weighs so um, and this bar is is actually it's a 3 8 bar but if you look it's a 0.063 gauge so it's a little bit uh, a little bit more husky chain than the, the uh, 50 thousandths um, as mentioned the saw is stock with a few modifications I, I put these aftermarket uh, dogs on uh, these they sell them on eBay a guy makes him uh, P I L T Z very nice quality. Uh, I I've, I've sanded them down and then I blued them because I like the look of the black ones instead of the raw metal. Um, under here, I don't have my wrench handy to pull this off, but under here um, I have a steel, all steel um, uh, clutch bearing that I installed. And also I have a larger eight tooth sprocket which speeds up the chain. Um, the only other modification I've made is if you kind of, let me turn it, the saw to the light here a little bit. If you look in here, and I can zoom in a little bit, you see where that, see that little hole with the screen behind it? So when you get the saw from steel, it's just a round hole about the size of a, a dime. So you can see I've gone in with a carbide bit and very carefully opened that hole up to modify the muffler. And that will, that should allow the saw to breathe uh, a little bit better. So. I'll be interested to see how how that all plays out. But um, that's it. So far, so good. Uh, I've only used the saw one time, but not with the modification. So I'm looking forward to taking it back out and seeing how it runs again. Um, but yeah, it's a uh, really nice saw. I'm, I'm really looking forward to breaking this guy in.